Hello friends this is menteachingmen.com. In this video, we are going to review several reasons why God hasn't answered your prayer for healing. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Subscribing to the Men Teaching Men YouTube channel. Disclaimer. In this video we are going to review several of the possible reasons why God has not answered your prayer for healing. This is not a comprehensive list. We suggest that you search the scriptures for additional insight. God We first need to see what God says in His Word about healing. If you read his word, the Bible, there are hundreds of examples of God, Jesus and Christian disciples healing. Numerous scriptures concerning healing. Exodus chapter 15 verse 26. For I, the Lord, am your healer. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 6. Behold, I will bring to it health and healing, and I will heal them and reveal to them abundance of prosperity and security. Psalm chapter 41 verse 3. The Lord sustains him on his sick bed, in his illness you restore him to full health. Matthew chapter 8 verses 1 to 3. When Jesus came down from the mountain, large crowds followed him. And a leper came to him and bowed down before him, and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing, be cleansed. and immediately his leprosy was cleansed. There are also examples when God has said no to healing, but they are few and far between in the scriptures. Second Corinthians 12, 8-9 Apostle Paul's thorn in the flesh, God said no. Concerning this I implored the Lord three times that it might leave me. And he has said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for power is perfected in weakness. Reasons for not receiving God's healing. You are not a born-again believer in Christ. You are committing sin of some type. You are disobedient to the scriptures. You have unforgiveness in your heart. You have not made restitution for wrongs. Number 1. You are not a born-again believer in Christ. John chapter 9 verse 31. We know that God does not hear sinners, but if anyone is God-fearing and does his will, he hears him. The only prayer that God is required to hear from the unsaved is the sinner's prayer. Quick fix. Ask Jesus into your heart, and to forgive you of your sins by his precious blood. Number 2. 
you are committing sin of some type. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 13. He who conceals his transgressions will not prosper, but he who confesses and forsakes them will find compassion. Whatever sin you are doing, stop it. We know it is difficult. We know it is not easy. But you can do it with God's help. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Number 3. You are disobedient to the scriptures. Luke chapter 6 verse 46. Why do you call me, Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? John chapter 14 verse 15. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. First Timothy 1 to 9. Understanding this, that the law is not laid down for the just, but for the lawless and disobedient for the ungodly and sinners, for the unholy and profane. 2 John chapter 1 verse 6 And this is love, that we walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment, just as you have heard from the beginning, that you should walk in it. Number 4 you have unforgiveness in your heart. Mark chapter 11 verse 25. And whenever you stand praying, forgive, if you have anything against anyone, so that your Father also who is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. Matthew chapter 6 verse 15 But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. James chapter 5 verse 16. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another, that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. Luke chapter 6 verse 37. Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Matthew chapter 6 verse 15. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Number 5. You have not made restitution for wrongs you have committed. Romans chapter 13 verses 7 to 8. Render to all what is due them. Tax to whom tax is due. Custom to whom custom. Fear to whom fear. Honor to whom honor.
Owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. Luke chapter 19 verse 8 Zacchaeus on meeting Jesus Zacchaeus stopped and said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, half of my possessions I will give to the poor, and if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will give back four times as much. Step 8 in Alcoholics Anonymous Restoration is part of salvation. Made a list of all persons we had harmed and became willing to make amends to them all. Pastor Cho's Temple Prayer. Section. Benefits of the Blood. Number 3. Jesus through the stripes you received at the courtyard of Pilate. My sickness and diseases have been taken away since 2,000 years ago. I declare that because of the blood of Jesus Christ, that Christ's blood speaks better than the blood of Abraham, and so I praise you. I praise you for divine healing through the blood of Jesus Christ. Review. Reasons for not receiving God's healing. You are not a born-again believer in Christ. You are committing sin of some type. You are disobedient to the scriptures. You have unforgiveness in your heart. You have not made restitution for wrong. This video is dedicated to Maria Stewart, Fresno, California. Thanks so much for watching. Hello friends, this is Homer Knox again. I hope you enjoyed this video teaching. The question I have for you is, are you born again? Do you know Jesus as your personal savior? If not, why not? Why not? Jesus was born of a virgin. He lived a sinless life. He suffered and died under Pontius Pilate and the Romans. He was buried and he rose from the dead on the third day. He's now ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. There is salvation in no one else. No one else. And so if this has stirred your heart and you would like to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, please pray with me. Dear Jesus, please come into my heart. Forgive me of all my sins, all my sins by your precious blood. I accept you as my personal Savior. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for cleansing me. Thank you for my home in heaven. Thank you for giving me the Holy Spirit and making me a new creature. Amen and amen. Well, if you prayed that prayer from your heart, you're now born again, you're a Christian. Welcome. Welcome to the family. If you prayed this prayer after slipping away, you're now part of the family. You're back in the fold. Welcome. Congratulations. There's another teaching on the men teaching men.com website entitled, I Just Got Saved. And that video will help you with your new walk in Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you. Amen.